The Monoprice 40-inch Crystal Pro featured in today's review is provided on loan by Monoprice. I enjoy the times a Monoprice monitor comes across my desk. They always offer great price to performance ratios and a great out of the box experience. The latest Monoprice 40 inch Crystal Pro ultra wide monitor is no exception. With its large 40 inch IPS screen, 21 by nine aspect ratio, 3440 by 1440 resolution and 144 Hertz refresh rate, you will get a ton of mileage out of this display, whether it's for gaming, content creation or general computer use. The 40 inch Crystal Pro comes in a massive brown box with a depiction of the front and back of the monitor on the front and back respectively. Key highlights of the screen, resolution and refresh rate are also noted. The monitor is contained within a sturdy layer of styrofoam that will keep it safe during transport. Freeing the monitor from its containment and getting the included stand or visa wall mount plate set up is a quick process. A power cable, display port cable and quick start manual also reside within the box. The 40 inch Crystal Pro is massive. With its completely flat screen, near bezel-less design and minimalistic style, it is a great looking monitor to put on a desk. The Monoprice logo is the only front facing marking and its low key design again lends itself well to the overall aesthetic. The monitor is thicker than most contemporary flat panels and resembles the build seen on curved panels with the thickest sections coming around two inches. On the bottom of the screen is a dedicated power button and a four way rocker for navigating the screen's menu. The back is where things get more gamerfied as RGB lighting is present across the midsection. The effect can be customized within the monitor's OSD for various colors and effects. The monitor has a built-in power supply so the standard PC power cord attaches neatly into the monitor's back. For input we have a single DisplayPort 1.4 port, dual HDMI 2.0 ports and a USB-C port. A 3.5mm jack is also available for audio output if you don't want to use the built-in speakers. The included stand is a fairly standard V-shaped looking thing that gives the monitor three points of contact with your desk surface. It provides a good level of stability while in use and it is easy to work with when doing any cable management or desk organizing. The stand also provides height and swivel adjustment options to better fit your space. The red highlight at its top is a pleasing touch. The Monoprice 40 inch Crystal Pro has the following listed specs. Right out of the box, I am very pleased with the color calibration and look of the monitor. The colors look natural and tuned better than most I've seen in recent years. Brightness is set at 90 by default, and typically I like to crank it up to the max and tune from there, but I have never felt the need to do so with this screen. Contrast levels have been pleasing with dark and light scenes feeling well represented. The IPS panel also gives the display great viewing angles. The monitor's OSD features several fine tuning options to squeeze every last bit of color detail out of the monitor, but for measurements taken it comes extremely close to its advertised ratings right from the start. HDR 600 is supported to further highlight bright scenes and the representation is handled well overall and a step above monitors claiming to be HDR 400 compatible. Though peak brightness of the display is too low to give a true HDR experience. These days my main use of my PC is for gaming and making my YouTube videos which includes writing and editing. Starting with gaming, there is a certain joy to be had when coming back to an ultra wide monitor after years of gaming in 16x9. In properly supported games you are privy to exceptionally wider viewing angles which can be advantageous in competitive titles. Combined with the 144Hz refresh rate and 8ms response time, which equates to just about a frame of latency at this speed, you have a great recipe for a gaming monitor. Pairing the monitor with my RTX 3080, I have been able to push every game I play to the max and drive the monitor with close to peak performance. Apex Legends remains my competitive game of choice and the 40 inch Crystal Pro has breathed new life into the experience with its wonderful width. It almost borders on too big to truly be an advantage, but after a few games it feels right at home. Other games I have enjoyed this year such as Armored Core 6 have also been a treat. Of course, older games are using a console on the screen can't take advantage of the 21 by 9 aspect ratio so they sit nicely in a 16 by 9 window in the center of the screen. To better take advantage of the screen in this use case, its built in picture in picture or picture by picture modes can be utilized to keep a PC screen active next to the game window. This does require an additional input source to achieve but results are a ton of fun. Windows remains lackluster in its support of HDR content, but to use the feature it does need to be enabled within the monitor's OSD and activated in Windows or a supported console. 
Unfortunately, Xbox systems still lock HDR content to 4K output, so PS4 and 5 are the only systems that will be able to take advantage of it on this screen. But HDR support is again handled well enough to give nice highlights to the image, and I am satisfied with what we have here for the price. It is worth noting that for anyone who has customized their brightness settings, going back and forth between modes will reset it back to the default 90. As a monitor for content creation, I have been loving the extra width provided by the 21 by 9 aspect ratio and resolution. It is easy to have two tabs by each other for chat and work or research and typing. During video editing, having my timeline and video preview separated into bigger sections results in easier at a glance edits with less scrolling and resizing. It could also prove distracting at times, but that's more of a me issue than anything. Because of the great color calibration, I am also happy to know that what I see on the screen is going to be what the final result looks like in other calibrated devices. While I don't do as much media consumption at a desk environment any longer, the obvious benefit for movie fans comes from being able to remove more borders from most movies, letting the action take center stage. HDR supported content can again be enjoyed with better than average results from this price range. As for using the monitor's USB-C port, it is easy to hook up supported devices and it fully supports all the monitor's output capabilities with ease. It also provides 90 watts of power delivery to keep devices charged and running at peak operation modes. As for the built-in speakers, they are serviceable, but can peak with louder sources, so an external speaker setup is ideal. After a month of use, I haven't found much to dislike about the Monoprice 40-inch Crystal Pro. The built-in speakers aren't the greatest, but I didn't expect them to be. HDR600 isn't as good as true HDR1000, again expected. Pixel density is also a tad lower than I would have preferred for a screen this size being viewed this close. So my only real complaints are the screen doesn't support KVM modes of operation for multiple USB-C sources, and the use of HDMI 2.0 also restricts some of the output modes on PC. For console use, 2.0 has been just fine. For any gamers or creators looking for a no-fuss, high-refresh rate, ultra-wide monitor, the Monoprice 40-inch Crystal Pro is a great option. It provides great results in games, and for creation, assures good colors and looks for finished videos and pictures. The asking price of $549 also puts it at a competitive price for this type of display, but it constantly goes on sale for lower to make it a true steal. As of filming this video, it is on sale for $384.99. A pair of speakers would be where I would recommend those savings go, though, as the internal ones just aren't the greatest. So there you have it, my thoughts on this wonderfully large, ultra-wide, monoprice 40-inch Crystal Pro monitor. I'm actually gonna be a little sad to see this one go, but again, it was just provided, me, provided to me on loan from Monoprice. Thank you again to Monoprice for that. And a big thank you to each and every one of you for tuning in to watch this review. I hope you have found it interesting, informative, or just cool to see the monitor in action. One of these days, I'll actually upgrade to a 120 hertz camera so we can take better advantage. Of, so we can take better advantage of these high refresh rate monitors for review purposes. But unfortunately, today was not that day. Now, just the couple usual favors here at the end. If you haven't already, thumbs up, thumbs down, depending how much you like this video, as well as that sub button notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. Because I'd love to have you here for each and every new release. Loads in the pipeline. Can't wait for you to see it. But. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keep it growing, be sure to check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Little goes a long way to bringing this content to you, and we're super grateful to all of our current champions. Thank you so much for backing us and keeping us going. You're just incredible. Now, until next time, my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on playing games, we'll see you back next video.